What the heck is four ways of handling four by eight sheet goods all by yourself? Hola, woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. That wasn't probably grammatically correct. It probably should be what the heck are four ways, but that's all right. The name of my playlist is what the heck is, so that's the way we're going to do it. All right, in an earlier video, I showed one method of handling four by eight plywood when you're by yourself, even if you're my age, and that was to buy this little uh, plywood carrier, and I put a link down on Amazon. I'll put another link below again. So that one's really cool. Uh, one of the things I like about that one is the ability, since it's down below, to lift my plywood up onto a workbench or my table saw. Well, today I'm gonna go over four methods. This will be one of them, as I'll demonstrate. People in the comments gave me, uh, a lot of people in the comments gave me a suggestion that I look at these panel carriers. So I'll be explaining what this little device is and how that works. And then I've got two more devices you can use to carry your sheet goods by yourself that you probably already own, so you don't need to go out and buy these, although these aren't the most expensive tools in the world. So stay tuned and we'll demonstrate all four methods of how to carry four by eight plywood when you're all by yourself. Here's the one that I talked about, which is a little panel carrier available for not a lot of money on uh, Amazon. And I'm just gonna take a piece I've already done a cutoff on just for demo purposes. So you just put this panel carrier in approximately the middle of the panel you're gonna carry, and then use your inside hand to get that. Lift with your legs, and away you go. Yeah, I know, I'm cheating. It's half inch plywood, and I cut off 36 inches of it. But you get the idea. You can do it with a full sheet. Well, as far as purchase products are concerned, here's another one. This is called a panel carrier. And it's designed in a way that when you put the sheet goods in here and then lift up, it clamps down and it's got some rubber things for holding. So you did, this one you lift from the top. The little panel carrier, I guess sheetrock guy, the, known about these for years, but I'm not a sheetrock guy. I'm an old retired executive. So anyway, you clip that over there. Now you can just lift with your legs and hold it right here with one hand. Now that's pretty easy. This might be my preferred method for the future. It's not as good actually for lifting the plywood up onto a workbench, but you can deal with that after you get next to your workbench. All right, so that's called a panel carrier. I'll put a link to both of those down below. And then here's the third method. Just see if you got a crowbar. So a crowbar under there works the same way. You just don't have to buy anything. So hang on to that and lift it up. And a fourth method, so somebody suggested, was just a simple claw hammer. Basically, it's anything with a handle with a hook. And so a claw hammer meets that definition. Just get that claw hammer in there. That's another one where I gotta lift with my legs. And there you go. So there's four ways that you can carry sheet goods. Hope you uh, like these what the heck is videos designed for beginning woodworkers. Give us a like, a subscribe, and a comment, and stay safe in your workshop. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Stay safe in your workshop. Mm -hmm.